Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on this channel, you're welcome. I am Anne Aim Pochen. I'm an author and I also do business. Now today's video is basically for that part of my channel where we talk about business and I'm going to be sharing with you business ideas that you can do in Congo, okay? 20 travel service, travel businesses that you can do in, um, what's it called, in Congo basically businesses within the travel sector okay so if this is the kind of video that you like stay tuned for it but before we go into today's video if you have not subscribed already but do you watch my um videos thank you so much for subscribing uh, sorry thank you so much for watching however do click the subscribe button and also the notification bell that lets you know when i've uploaded a new video okay now for those of you who have already subscribed and watched my videos consistently thank you so much for watching my videos and also do make sure that when you've watched my videos and they've been beneficial to you do give them the thumbs up and also do interact in the comment section and i'll be all i'll respond to your um whether it's your question or your interaction in the comment section okay now for those of you who are new subscribers welcome thank you so much for joining the community um i hope that my content is beneficial to you if you have friends and families and colleagues who you think would benefit from any content on my channel whether it's the, the business um content whether it's the lifestyle content and also the fashion content or even just the real life issues content um do feel free to share it with them i'll be more than happy to have you do that and also um if you have any questions to do with business in general it doesn't necessarily have to be with what i'm sharing on this particular video just in general do feel free to send me a dm on my facebook my instagram or my twitter or if they're not too personal for the comment section you can just put it in the comment section and i'll also respond to your comment okay your question in the comments as well okay now let us get into today's video now if you see me looking down there it's basically because i've got my notes yes i have my notes here guys um what's it called on my tablet so i'm just going to be sharing with you 21 um business opportunities that you can invest in or start if you are in congo or if you're planning to go to democratic republic of congo now if you have not watched the economy of congo video go and watch that okay because it will give you a little bit of a background of congo and also the visibility of business in congo okay now number one is huge and logistics services so people move houses people move um you know people move houses people move business like offices and all of that so they always need um what's it called they always need a vehicle to move okay and so if you start a huge and um, logistics services you can actually offer them you know removal like if you have a van or a car you can do um what's it called a removal service for them at a price uh, and the huge service also at a price okay number two is private jet charter business so if you have a private jet you can charter the services basically where you take um your passengers from one destination to another okay that is very much feasible business because in congo whether you know it or not there are actually so many musicians actors and actresses as well in congo let me know who your favorite um, you know who your favorite singer is in congo let me know in the comment section now um they're, and they're always hiring and um, private jets and services like that so 
that is very feasible okay and also their businessmen and their business women who would like a private jet service okay maybe if they are traveling for a tour or they're traveling for an event and they just need a reliable service so you can start a private jet charter business there okay number three is car hiring service again this is amazing service that you can start in Congo for especially tourists who come to Congo and may need a car maybe for one day two days three days um, maybe five days a week two weeks or even sometimes a month for the duration of their stay in Congo and also if if not just for the tourists you can also um, what's called provide their car hire service for your local community because sometimes you find that you know maybe a business owner or just a working person who normally uses cars maybe they've taken their car for repair and it's going to take some time before they get back and um, so they'll hire a car okay so you, that is very um what's called a very good business to have okay so if you have even five cars 10 cars or even more you can upscale your business start small and upscale it as you grow okay and as you have more customers as well okay then number four is cargo tracking services cargo tracking services now a lot of people um import um and export products okay so they always need tracking they always need tracking numbers and all of that just to see where their goods are and how long it's going to take. So if you provide that service for them where you can track where their, um, where their what's it called, where their goods are, whether it's a business or individual, okay, um, you find that you have a lot of customers, okay, so you can do that. Um, again number number five starting a tricycle transportation a tricycle transportation now a lot of people now tric tricycle okay um is actually like used by quite a lot of people especially where there is so much tourism um you know they like that experience different kinds of transportation okay so you can offer that tricycle um transportation service where it gives the both the locals and also the tourists um what's it called a different experience of transportation because not everybody always wants to be in a car not everybody wants to always be you know in the air not everybody wants to be on a motorbike sometimes you just want to try to go okay so that will be good a service to do and then another one number six is taxi or cab services okay so you can do serve the local community with a taxi or cab service okay and with five car, cab, um taxis you know five cars or five black car, cabs or even more if you have more of course if you can get more and um, you still be making your profit and as you grow and as your demand um, the demand for your service grows you can get more vehicles to serve the wider community so you can start with your own community and then go into intercity services okay where you drop customers from city to city okay that is another business that you can start and then number seven is shipping services shipping services okay now as i said a lot of people like to order products from different countries including congo okay so you can start a shipping service that serves your local community and also um community outside of congo maybe international shipping for example i do um online store where i serve both my local community um as well as international community as far as um you know greenland italy uh, we've had israel we've had russia we've had australia and um 
quite a few destinations outside of the UK so shipping service would be very good okay and um, if you have ship because people actually like to travel they travel on water okay so that's another one that you can do shipping service that you can do people travel on water so if you have a ship you can actually do that provide that service for people where you transport them from one area to another area okay um number eight trucking company as in trucks okay so a lot of people use um trucks to, for delivery for delivering food for delivering goods across the country and so if you have a few trucks you can provide that for them okay where you can go and deliver goods using your trucks and all that okay and um, number nine bus transportation services again if you have a few buses you can use it to transport people and um, provide as a form of transport when i was younger we used to get on buses from one city to another city let me know if you're from uganda and you've used the buses in uganda before let me know in the comment section yeah literally we use buses so if you have like even five or ten buses that would be a very profitable business where you literally serve the community okay where you you know transport people from city to city whether it's business people local local people and even the tourists okay um number Um, okay you know what I missed I missed number 11 you know driving school business so with a few cars and a driving in, a few driving instructors you can open up a driving school where you teach people or have people if driving instructors who will teach people how to drive okay whether you need a few automatic cars and you need a few cars that are manual so you offer both the what's it called the option to learn how to drive automatic and also manual cars okay people will pay for that because people always need driving school i need a driving driving lessons let me know in the comment section if you're a driving school around well within the uk let me know okay in the comment section um what's it called da, 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 number okay the one that, another one that i missed out which should have been number 12 is transportation blogging business so you can write blogs based on transportation so basically you can review different types of transport that is used within congo so that when people go on your blogs they can just look at the review and make their decision of what type of transport to take whether it's better to take i don't know cars whether it's better to hire out their own cars whether it's better to take taxi or cab service or whether it is better to take a private jet okay so you can write a blog on there and make money because people can um you can then have the tourist sector actually advertise maybe their hotels on there maybe their um what's it called even taxi companies can advertise on your blog their taxi services on there um if you have you know the shipping company the ship company um can advertise their ship service on there as well okay so yeah it's a good way to do it okay um number okay the one that i missed out again okay no number 15 now vulcanizing business vulcanizing 
business i don't know what that is but it's v u l k c a m i z i n g let me know in the comment section if you know what that is but you can always just google it and find out what it is okay um number 16 is medical transportation services so that is like an ambulance okay so if you have maybe a car that um you know that has like medical equipment that can be used for transportation of patients or medical um medical facilities from hospital to hospital then that is also a feasible business okay um number 17 a limousine service a lot of people need limousines especially for birthdays weddings anniversaries um people like to go to do limousine okay apparently in congo they like to live life lavish okay those who have the money um they like to live lavish so that would be a very good business to go into a transportation business to go into okay number 18 is selling used cars so if you can get hands on second hand cars okay that are in good condition or you can repair if they're not in so good condition um, and then sell it on for a certain amount of money you can make your profit that way even if you have five cars to start off with and then scale it as you get more cars and all of that and set it on okay you still make your money number 19 travel agency travel agency okay that is basically you opening up a travel agency a, a store where you have um, brochures for different um, places to travel within Congo or even outside of Congo and you have people you know maybe five six or even ten people that will um, help people to book you know their flights book their hotels book sightseeing like do different tourist attractions within Congo and outside of Congo and basically they come and they book their holiday with you and um, you make your money that way so you offer them in-person booking service and also online booking service where they can book their holidays from the comfort of their home and um, they pay you for it online okay um the number 20 boat chattering services so basically chattering boats so you book boats for people because like i said in congo they travel on water they travel using boats so you can provide a, a boat chattering service where you book boats for um for people whether they want it in a month's time a week's time two days time a day's time and how many of them are coming along and for what purpose and also do they need a return ticket or is it just a one-off like a one-way okay so offering that kind of service okay now give them the option of doing it online as well as offline okay um and then number 20 one boat rental services so if you have several boats okay you can rent them out because you find people who may want to rent a boat maybe for a day two days um you know maybe a week or regularly and because they are going away for business and coming back for like a week's time or four days time or five days time or you find they want to do fishing they want to do they want to travel okay so for different reasons maybe they want to do a video shoot that needs a boat there okay like you know um you can rent them out so yeah that is a very feasible business okay now that is it if you have any question to do with business in general it doesn't necessarily have to be the ones that i've shared all my days what have i just done i have just taken my notes off that was not a good idea um okay yeah so 
yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or send me a dm on my facebook my instagram and my twitter and i'll be more than happy to respond to you there other than that have a good evening i shall see you in the next video bye